This video is just a quick reminder to those of you using Google Classroom that at the start of the school year, you can archive your old classes. You do not have the option to completely delete the classes, but you really don't need to have to do that. So what you want to do is you want to click on the three buttons in any of your Google Classrooms you want to archive. And you're going to notice at the bottom it'll say archive. So you're going to click on that and it's going to tell you that you and your students won't be able to make changes to that classroom, but you'll be able to view it in the classroom menu. So you're going to hit archive and you'll notice that it went away from your main page, which is a nice way to clean it up so you only have your active classes on your main page. But if you come on over here to the, uh, the Google Classroom uh, tab on the left and you click on it, you'll notice if you scroll to the bottom, you can see your archived classes. So if I click on that, there are all my old archived classes there for me to be able to, uh, if I wanna go in and, and look at things that I posted or look at assignments, I can do that. What it's mostly useful for is if you go back into your active classes, so my classes for this year, um, I can reuse a post from a previous year. This is especially helpful if you are reusing a post that had some attachments or videos or links that you don't have to recreate the entire assignment. Though I do suggest always clicking on the links to make sure that they're still active and that they're working. So if you're in the classwork tab of your active Google Classroom, you have your option to create your assignments. So you're gonna hit the create button and at the bottom, you're gonna see you can reuse a post. So if you click on that, it's gonna bring you up to all of your Google Classrooms. And you'll notice that those that have been archived say archived underneath them. So I'm gonna go back. I know I, I had a great assignment in uh, 2007, the school year in 2017. So I'm gonna click on that and I can go back and reuse any of those posts. Once I click on that assignment, I will have the option to be able to edit the assignment, edit the dates, edit all of the um, anything in the assignment as well. Oh, it's asking me over here to create new copies, which I do in fact want to do. It was hiding there under the, uh, the Screencastify. So you'll see it brings me up to a new assignment that I'm going to post. I can choose the class period that I want to post it in, in my, my active class. It gives me the directions again, and it gives me the website that I used for that assignment. I'm going to change the point value, the due date. It's giving me the topic that I used last time, which you also have the ability to change. So you have the ability to change the entire assignment but it is nice if you had lengthy directions or a lot of links that you don't have to go in and recreate all of those things. So I hope this was helpful uh, and you can archive your old classes and get started for the new school year.